Today we're taking a look at treasuries given the huge amount of supply this week with $250 billion of U.S. auctions in just three days. Really pretty amazing. Now into this we do have treasury selling off modestly. If we take a look at an intraday chart of the 10-year yield, we will see that it's slightly higher. In fact, right now the 10-year yield on pace for its biggest move up since 2013. That of course was the taper tantrum. So rates uh, moving up, rising really pretty quickly. Let's hop into the Bloomberg to take a look at uh, where the short end of the curve and the long end of the curve uh, intersect, if you will. This is G hashtag BTB3325. It's a five year chart of the 210 spread. That, of course, is the difference between the two year yield and the 10 year yield. And we see that it's been steadily declining over the last five years. Last year, a big theme, of course, was the uh, flattening of the yield curve. But then comes along 2018. And right now we're back into the middle of this range, suggesting we may just see the curve steepen. It'll be pretty interesting to see whether or not that happens. If it does, of course, it's expected that the Fed's likely to raise rates three times this year. It could mean some pain for other asset classes, in particular stocks. Let's now bring in Mike O'Rourke of Jones Trading, chief market strategist there. And Mike, of course, thanks so much for taking the time. Before we talk about yield, because you said something pretty interesting to me earlier, but before we do that, let's talk about the uh, auction calendar this week. It really is pretty amazing. Yeah, so it's, you know, a quarter of a trillion dollars of treasuries and bills are going to be auctioned. Obviously, we have this huge tax cut we passed, and, you know, as far as the government's budget, we're going to have trillion dollar deficits probably for the next three years. As such, the government's going to have to issue approximately a trillion dollars of new debt this year, next year, and the following year. So that's a big part of this move in rising yields. And you told me earlier, this was what really stood out to me, the two-year yield, you think it's set for 3%. Can you talk to me about yeah, why? Yeah, it, it, you know, the two-year yield is currently... Yeah, and that's the year-to-date. Look at that, yes, up 30 okay. basis points in a so, year. Perfect example, the 222, right? Two spot 22. So if we have three rate hikes this year, that's probably another 75 basis points. So that's going to bring that two-year yield up to about 3%, just under 3%. So then when you go back to the 210 spread that you were talking about earlier, that's about 68 basis points now, right? If the 10-year stays about 68 basis points above the two-year, we're talking about a 10-year yield, which is about 2.9 right now, going to somewhere between 3.65 and 3.75. And that's that whole rising rate trade that we're talking about. It's changing the whole landscape of investing in 2018. Yeah, and the technicals on the 10-year support would you just talked yeah. about. So if we take a look at the uh, Treasury note, the commodity, the curve yeah. uh, in the Bloomberg uh, function, and CCRV. Can you talk to us about what you're seeing here? So this is this is the commodities curve where the futures contracts are trading. And these are the front month of the earlier ones. Those are out months down at the end. So the, and the dots are different contracts, right? So what you're seeing here is this downward sloping. That's the market saying we expect those treasury futures to tr be tr trading lower because yields are rising. And when yields rise, treasury, tr treasury bonds trade down. So the value of the bonds going down. So you are short. That's so, your trade. Yeah, the, the, so the trade this year, I think, is to be short because we said we think yields are going to rise probably 65 to 70 basis points on the 10 year. And as such, you want to be selling treasury futures. A perfect example is this is the current contract line, right, the, for today. This is where it was a month ago. So a month ago, um, the yield was 2.65 and treasury sold off. The yield pushed up to 2.9 and that's where we are today. We're expecting more of this move coming forward. A lot of, uh, a lot of movement there. 